Ecologue. The Bonner Mill, the house is lifted from the earth. The foundation's gone black as meat left out all winter. For the black of wet asphalt. Oil everywhere. A few bolts, a spark plug and radiator fluid. Two does and a fawn, heads bent to eat off the golf green. A sparkler spits gray cylinders. Here are towns like scabs. Streets where no bodies come into contact. The abandoned generator by the train tracks. The three foot tall glass insulators. Strange crowns to the crumbling brickwork. Walkerville, top of the hill. The memorial hanging over the pit to the miners who died in cave-ins and fires. All the unnamed dead, the horses, Chinese immigrants, the mountain herself. Not too long ago, the mine fire swept through. As the horse stables went, they felt the pull of the heat and lay down. They'd been blind from darkness long enough to know what was ahead. Their nostrils were wide, thirsting for the wet air, the mist spat on the pine needles, the creek ranging through the double shadow of the canyon. Then the Berkeley pit, the trailings washing down the stepped walls of more trailings, oxidized red and creeping strains. Here started the copper strands arcing beside the highways from LA to New York. Here you can't hide. The fence a two mile ring, the pit too deep to see, rough aluminum, unoxidized and sandpapered the gap on the horizon where the mountain was. And where the Missouri starts north, there's a winding line of thickening pine trunks, marking the meander of the long dry stream bread. Marking the meander of a long dry stream from the bluffs to a reservoir. Tree by massive tree, they flow into the water, branchless and masticated. Some have lost their torsos. They ask to be followed how all paths ask, by forming a line, by leaving beyond sight, here, swim out to them one by one, deep into the lake. Their branches will be thick, slick on the legs, scraping under the arms, and catching on the skin. Open and forgettable, the snow becoming the dust on the ditches and fence posts through the spring. Dead grass, the glaring sun, the dry carcasses of trees, and their texture on my fingers. Here are the old grain silos at Story Mills. Grasses overtaking train tracks, the holes from when the ladder was bolted in the siding where I put my eye closed and saw mice as white as grubs and no bigger than pennies rooting through the wall. Their concrete bridge columns, cracked in spray paint on tree bark green, the dust blown sidewalks, the water splashing on the streets. Behind the Exxon station, across from Lindley Park, the sheriff found her body under the dew skinned willow. What's been torn from the land and the people here? Two dirt ruts twist from the house back to an open gate. A hand-painted sign. We save the best traps for our children. Here are the fence posts, eight-foot pine poles, steepled to one end and smelling alkaline from the pitch that soaked an inch deep into their perfect cylinder lengths. They're stacked in a pyramid out by the haying equipment, camouflaged in chipped red and green paint edged in rust. The summer I turned 15, my stepfather burned the fence down on accident. Been digging post holes since I was 10, but that summer we put in over 60 posts and watched the son of a bitch beat my stepbrother until he torn his own knuckles so bad there was a fine gloss of blood on the back of his hands. I walked along the fence line and knew if I stayed, if I crossed over, either way I'd be caught. So I loosed the mice to tunnel through the fields. The body is the coil chute, the conveyor high up, heading in from the river to the mouth of the Avignon Parker, and the digester tank, where the pulp winds down. Here's stillness and rust, heaping and rust. The legs, the feet, the mini stomachs, rust. What has come from this body rots in bookshelves. Mildewed, acid soaked. I can't bear the stillness as it sloughs off bolts, the bulk shivering. I scraped the cow's skin from my fingers, filled the corns off my feet. But here, I felt what it is to fall apart. I can't have saws at work inside me, long thin entrails of tree mash. Here I'm told to hunger, to swallow forest whole, to be reckless. I am reckless. Here I'm told to take. I will take. Hollow and hang eyed are the bodies, waiting for someone to pick. Beer belly, frowning shelved along the river and sitting. Here we are see-through, slow plotters, 
one in a stack of papers to be shredded. Their stillness is the rust. Here are a heap of legs, hands, faces, all caked in rust. Here are the large turned lime across the mountainsides and the orange rock beneath the escarpment where the road was blasted yeah. through. It is wet as bone ripping from skin. At the high mark, the grass has given up on summer and turned the color of moon on the horizon through a thick smog. The patches of dogwood to red, their leaves the color of sun through a storm. Everywhere there are hints of yellow like wolves flashing through the trees after fording the Blackfoot. When the last pack were strung by the hind legs so the blood could drain out their mouths, what birds stopped visiting what flowers on these banks? Everywhere there are hints. The forks of the bedrock, the meanders where the valley widens out. Those birds, so long gone, they have no names. Fences were to make squares of the open, formless land. Of course, some places succeeded more than here. Take Mill Creek Canyon or Bonner. Who wants a fence? Out where the mountains wall you in. For the horses? The horses don't want the fence either. She had some horses who get loose. And we come on them early, cracking the night ice on the slough with their noses. Cracking the night ice on the slough with their noses. Horses who would try to break others out. And the one horse who'd follow the truck down the road eating oats from the drop tailgate, and then the horses who never left the pasture. The granite slabs where the spray from the spring waterfalls broke, the light, the deep shade of the box canyons, one long rainbow and rolling up in the tarp to sleep, the whole world began to pitch, or did it? Or was it that you cut my head, your hand reaching behind my ear, right here? Waking up on top of the escarpment, cropping out over the Ponderosa and snow in late August. Pine needles blooming through the white and purple across the canyon. The color of the frill of a kingfisher. Here, trying to be the tree, then being the wind. Stretching over the swatches of aspen. Caught along Highlight Creek. The bear flying out beetles from under the bark. The deer bound to bound. Paths opening until I reach the road and find myself small in myself. Here are the rim rock sandstone, hued and flecked like the iris of a red eye. Here are juniper and the silhouettes of scraggly pines hunkering on top of the cliffs. No. The caves armed in blood spit red rifles. The snow drifts mark what was taken away from him. The Yellowstone had many names, the kind fade into silence with the rising night. And the starlings don't flock away. They're like the grass, here for good. The crazies, lost and pushed by the wind. The snow, catching on shoulders and neck. And the saddle, treating me like the trees, like the mountain. The forest in whom stirs countless beetles, scratching up inside the bark. The crests of granite ridging and steep veined where the creeks rage. Across a stream, a lynx leads three kits of the cottonwork of new snow. Snow so thick. The knee-deep track filling in as I watch. Thunderstorms ripping over the bridgers. The light coming in shafts through the thunderheads. The afternoon, a day-long sunrise. Or sunset. And Simon's ashes romping with the Galton. And in the soil, here and out to the sea, he is so spread out now. The beavers dam the confluence of the Madison, Gallatin, and Jefferson. So from one side of the lake, there was no seeing the other. Cattail islands stirring in the sloughs. Here, the bluffs of the tobacco roots, lost in canyons that were channels, sitting and drying the escarpment for hours and the limestone dripping and building like wax in the cavernous intestines by the world. The smell of lightning over water, the granite pillars, a kind of prison, the stars, pinholes, and the sea, the pitmers, and here Rainbow Mountain, where the flies look like hornets, their abdomens bobbing over your forearm, 
two hummingbirds emerging from the scree field, up in the thin air, circling my head, the osprey blazing through the air, where the blackfoot joins the Clark Fort, the same air up on Stewart Peak, when the fog climbs the slope and banks against the foothills, up Rattlesnake Canyon. So the valley becomes a lake again, but of clouds, a lone mallard, greenhead, navigating snow flows on the river, and then night, her hair brown. Here are the stream hauled canyons, rain clouds playing on the lakes, the smell of my grandmother's hands out between the cottonwoods where she set the table, and put the lemon meringue on plates, eventually the stars, dangling, putting my hand up, constellation, the weight of a book on my fingers. Snow melt finds the fault lines, the reverberations of bird wings sounding in my chest, runs head first in the moss cup, splashes along the slate steps, the water trickling through the shale, off the needles, off the boulder, rock falls, the glinting drips and trails, green strings, flickers in and out of sound, the cliffs come away in chips and throws, I climb up smiling, and the bird that escaped my mouth, his yellow neck as huge as eyes has come back. Mountain ranges like islands, nostrils iced. The sun lassoed low to the horizon. Stove coil against the eyes, no pulling back. And the snow thickening and sliding down into the white bowl. Turning, floating, more than standing, giving in to slowness, the snow cocked furs, limbs spread like arms, and feathered now, wind held and snow wet, almost blotched, fog eyed, snow fills the contours, makes a bed deep in the trees, calls out, sees, but doesn't believe that we are here.